on guys today we're gonna to be doing a wilderness survival challenge so um, the challenge that I'm gonna be doing today is is I have to fit all my survival gear into this tiny little backpack right here which I am super excited about and I, I really want to do this with my friend Tyler or Bennett but um stupid corona virus so now I have to do a solo survival challenge, which is still be fun. So. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I plan to be bringing. So first we have a 40 degree sleeping bag. It's it's not really um, compressed right now, but it can go pretty small. And it's mostly for the bugs because there's so many bugs. Oh, whoops. Um, we have two wool socks because I don't want my feet to get cold like last time. We've got a tarp right here for a shelter of two jackets, and then our backpack that we're fitting everything in. 750 milliliter water bottle right here. Um, we have a pot for boiling my water. I have a little tiny stove right here. Um, also, first aid kit right here, in case I like do something stupid and get hurt. <laughs> um, hand sanitizer. We have some hand warmers as well as a fork for our ramen that we're gonna have tonight. Bug spray. Um, a tiny little fire starter. I have two tiny little flashlights. A bag. I have a bunch of paracord. Two pocket knives with a lighter. And then uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Gonna try to fit all this in the bag. I think I want to put this tarp in. <sighs> but I don't know. Is that it? Did we do it? We did it. Let's go. Nice. Oh look, there's a rabbit. Look at this rabbit. Anyway, it is about four o'clock right now and I'm gonna be leaving in about an hour. I'm just getting all my uh, cameras charged up and ready to go and then we'll start our adventure. Finally, hey guys, we are back. It is currently about 5.30 and I got my backpack behind me. As you can see, and we have a doggo. He's a kind of crazy. Henry, where are you going? Come with. So we're just gonna walk and see if we can find any good places. So where are you going? I'm thinking a lean-to shelter. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll see. Through the woods we go. Oh, okay. Okay, so I chose our little camp out place. It's going to be right over here somewhere. Here you go, Henry. Bugs are getting me. Just gonna try to clear out this area as much as I can. Okay, so now we are going to be looking for a crossbeam um, log to go from that tree to that tree. You crazy doggo. Is this strong? Nope, that's not strong at all. So I found this fallen over thin tree right here. And it's, um, it's kind of skinny, but it's a good length. 
the oil, so I'm gonna have to cut it like right here or something. And it's pretty thick with this thing. So close. Yes, we did it with this tiny little saw. Branch for our shelter right here. We have to get back. Also, Henry escaped somehow. I don't know how he escaped. Oh my gosh. I don't know how Henry escaped, but he just, he ran back to the house, I think, so. That's kind of sad. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it right there, right here. I'm going to lash it to both sides, put a tarp over it. It's going to be good. Here we go. All right, so I have the um, the horizontal piece in right here. I left a little extra room right here so I could like hang my bag from there if I want to. Just hang my bag right here on the end, just like that. So then it just hangs my bag, which is pretty nice. So I don't have to get it on the ground, so I don't have to get ants all around and stuff. You also hang it there at night, but it's uh, it's very sturdy. So uh, let's get on to putting the tarp on. Okay. All right. So what I've done here is I um, used the extra rope at the end of these. Um, this. Uh, middle piece and um, I used the extra rope and I tied all the corners together so it's kind of like a hammock except I will still um, because of my weight I'll still be um, touching the ground but it's kind of it looks more like a hammock and it uh, should keep the bugs out because I could just take this cover piece and just kind of put it over me so I kind of like am and in there but um yeah it's working out pretty well so far actually reinforce the sides a little bit more oh yeah also forgot about all these ferns right here I'm gonna stick all the ferns underneath here after um, yeah I'm just gonna stick all the ferns underneath there for extra padding and to make sure that all my body heat doesn't go go right into the ground because that would be way cold I think I'm done with my um, shelter for the night. Um, I finished reinforcing the sides with sticks so that the tarp doesn't come undone and um, he helps close the sides of the tarp so there's only one really place that's open that's right here. I think that I'm going to now stick my, um, my sleeping bag in there. So, uh, let's see how that goes. Let me stick you to this tree. So, um, this side has a higher elevation, so I think that I'm going to have my head right there 
and my feet over by my bag. So I think I'm going to use this uh, purple paracord and um, help seal up these edges because I'm scared that when I get in, then this top tarp is going to kind of fall. So when I do this, it should help reinforce it so it doesn't just uh, slide out from under me. There we go. Nice. Okie dokie, so now I'm pretty much finished with my shelter, almost. But um, I reinforced the sides with sticks right here that I can um, use for firewood tomorrow morning when I take down uh, the shelter. And then our tarp is closed off kind of right here, so it won't, um, but um, yeah, shelter's looking good actually. So, looks like I have a chance of sleeping well tonight. I've collected a bunch of firewood right here, as you can see, and I have this little pit right here fire pit so uh, yeah it's gonna be good so I'm gonna next I'm gonna uh, start a little fire I think and then make some ramen around eight right now almost so uh, pretty much done with shelter so okay we're going to test the shelter let's see how it is Take off my shoes really quick. Hop on in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I wish I can like kind of tie this a little bit better though. I feel like so I'm gonna retie this part. So I think that it, they can be a little bit closer together. Thank you so much for watching this uh, video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see part two. Then make sure to check out my channel below. It'll be there. Um, I'll be just starting a fire and cooking my food. It'll be good. Um, if, you have any guys, if you guys have any video suggestions, uh, make sure to comment down below. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Peace.